Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 14th of 2024 is titled the Muna Lisa. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a framed portrait showing a whole bunch of images of our moon. Now, each of those is actually a real color image of the moon taken at different times. So you can see that some of them are distorted images, maybe close to the horizon that may appear a little bit redder. The ones that appear dark tend to be the ones that are caused by earth shine. So they are not illuminated directly by the sun, but are instead illuminated by sunlight, which strikes the earth and then the moon and then back to earth again. Now, the different colorings can have to do with different atmospheric effects, different positionings of the moon in the sky. So, for example, when the moon is low in the sky, it might appear a little redder. Or if an image was taken during a lunar eclipse, it would look a little bit redder. And that could affect the different colorings that we would see of our moon. Now you'll see that there's not one but actually four images there. And as you look to the smaller and smaller ones or move away a little bit, you may see a familiar image start to appear. And that is of course the Mona Lisa. And that is of course one of the most famous paintings ever done and was done by Leonardo da Vinci hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And putting the images of the moon together in the proper perspective, you can actually kind of reproduce that image in the images of the moon. So when you look at that first one, you don't really see anything. But as you start to move to the second and then the third and the fourth, the smallest one, as you get those closer and closer together, you start to see the image of the Mona Lisa begin to appear in this frame. Now, appropriately enough, as we looked at the different illuminations here, the earth shine that we mentioned was actually discussed long ago by Leonardo da Vinci, who was not only an artist, but also a scientist and looked at both of these things and actually had the idea of earth shine and how that would work. So here we have all those images of the moon put together, including some with the earth shine that he described, making up his most famous work of art that we see. And as I mentioned previously, the other colors that you see can be caused by various different atmospheric effects. So where the moon is present in the atmosphere, the higher it is, then the less distorted it's going to be and the less ruddy it's going to look. The other ones that are lower in the horizon will start to look a little redder or darker as they have to traverse more of Earth's atmosphere for the moon to be visible. And you'll also note some of them distorted because of that effect as well, where the distortion occurs because of light traveling through Earth's atmosphere. So that was our picture of the day for September 17th of 2024. It was titled the Muna Lisa. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be lunar pronouns. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.